This is a tarot reading on why you're not stupid. Stick around and find out. Let's do it. So I have three groups to choose from. There is group number one with the queen of pentacles. So this is whatever you feel drawn to or if you feel like you relate with this energy. So this could be earth signs if you are an earth sign or you resonate with being an earth sign. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Group number two is the two of wands right here. I heard I got the whole world in my hands, the song. And then group number three, we have the Empress. Yeah, okay. The Empress card, divine feminine energy. It's also about receiving, you know? Okay, so go ahead and pick one of those groups. You could also do a number generator app on Google, one to three number generator app. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in your reading, okay? Bye. Hi, group number ones. If you guys chose this Queen of Pentacles right here, you have come to the right reading. So immediately what I got for you guys, when I seen the Queen of Pentacles, I thought, oh, because it came out in reverse. And I was like, I feel like this is them how they think of themselves, but in actuality, this is them how they really are. So the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is very giving, like they can give a lot and they mean to give a lot because they love to, they have plenty to give. And it's almost like, Maybe you felt like you were cut dry and there's a lot of people who took advantage of your finances or you feel like people are taking advantage of your finances or maybe you just feel like you don't have any money to give people, okay? Like uh, you are an empty vessel or you aren't good with money, with saving. There's something here that's an insecurity with money and so let's go into it. Not just that, but um, with comfort in general. Maybe you feel like there's a lack of comfort that you can provide to people or you aren't able to provide people with that comfort or um, you just, there's a feeling of feeling worthless, feeling um, like you can't trust that you are worthy of some sort of giving or receiving. Something like that is here or working on something that you want to work on. Yeah, like, why should I put my time and energy into something? Am I even worth it? Can I even give? Um, am I even worth receiving the the um, income that I want, the things that I desire? Why is group number one not stupid? Yeah, with the three of wands in reverse, why is group number one not stupid? Why you're not stupid is because you are someone who actually knows what they want. Um, with the nine of cups right here with the three of wands in reverse. Okay. So with the nine of cups right here with the three of wands in reverse, there's a lot of people who don't know what they want or the manifestations that they desire. And it almost feels like at any point you can see that for yourself. And you're someone who knows how to get over things, know, knows how to move forward. Because in actuality, you can fill your own cup. You can be your own wish fulfillment. And the fact that you are, the distractions are annoying. But the fact that you know what you want and you even learn from things that happened, especially with the Ten of Swords in reverse. What, what I get with the Ten of Swords is, in reverse is not being able to move on towards a painful ending, but actuality, you're smart enough to remember those painful endings and being like, you know, I don't wanna do that again. I don't wanna go through that because I remember how much that hurt. And uh, there's something here to where you have a good memory. And um, let's continue, because I feel like this is really early on wise. Mm. Yeah, you have discernment. There's something about you having discernment with the four, <coughs> With the four of pentacles you actually have a really good memory you are someone who actually um i said that already sorry who saves really well and you may not think that you save really well but the four of pentacles is holding on to something is saving something is really 55 on the timer is getting ready for change i feel like you're someone who is very opened up to change and that's really admirable because a lot of people don't know how to open up for change yeah if like with the seven of so the seven of swords the seven of wands in reverse you aren't afraid to fight for what you want but you also know how to um you know how to give way towards your manifestations you know how to step aside when it's necessary yeah it's like the and to take action when need be 
it's like the universe tells you what to do and you do it like you have a good intuition you have a good ear even though the intuitive aspect didn't come out with the emperor right here the full card in reverse the full card in reverse it could be it could be the energy of when someone says jump you say how high but now with the emperor card because the emperor card is really known to <laughs> create something to create a legacy for themselves and you have the capacity to do that you have the mind to do that nothing's stopping you nothing's changing for you to do that i keep hearing the song there's someone having a party right next to me like in their backyard but i keep hearing the song by ed sheeran uh maybe i won't love in you since 17 something like that now i'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways what is that song it's like a song by ed sheeran um i don't know why that song came through but it feels like i keep saying like but it feels you are someone who keeps on loving but you are someone who grows from that i looked up the lyrics to the song it's called thinking out loud by ed sheeran and basically it's about finding love right where we are like it says in the lyrics but it feels like you can find love in the little things always you are someone who has such an expansive mind who sees things for what they are and accepts them right in the moment you alchemize things out of pure love you alchemize things to its greatest potential you can take something and give it into nothing and give it into nothing something feels hopeless like i i'm seeing the scene from bambi where where bambi says to flower or bambi says to the skunk you're not a flower you're a skunk or something like that um the skunk laughs and says you can call me flower if you want to so you make people feel like they can be somebody i also saw the sign the song from the song the scene from with steve martin where he's like mama i'm gonna be somebody um so you really give hope to people. I don't think you understand your impact. I don't think you understand how much an, of an influencer you actually are. So when people see you, they look at you and they see inspiration. They see hope. They're like, whoa, if this person can do this, then so can I. If this person can start their own business or can save or can get the life that they want, then why can't I do that? I feel like that came through sometime before, but yeah why is group number one not stupid i don't with the four of wands in reverse with the magician card in reverse mm. yeah what is the four of wands in reverse it's the three of cups right here so the four of wands popped up with the three of cups and what that really gives me it gives me the feeling of communion the feeling of bringing people together when there is no hope when there is all when all hope is lost you are there to bring celebration if anything your mind can work in a way that feels like oh these people are sad or feel broken but i can see the point of view i could see the bigger picture let's be happy in the moment and create from there let's celebrate what we don't have yet because it is coming there's a certain level of trust that you give other people that they can trust what you're saying on your word because they could feel that you feel it. They're like, this person knows what's up. This person knows something that I don't know. And you do. That's the thing. I'm confirming right now with whatever thing you thought that you believe in, it's true. And you can have that. And all of your manifestations are meant for you. And you're just here to remind other people but the same thing that you don't believe it within yourself. You don't believe that you can have those things. You do. You're like, I trust this is going to happen. But it's almost like, where is it? Or, or um, where is what I want? It, maybe you even used to think like that. And the fact that you don't think like that anymore just allows people to hope for themselves. Because they're like, oh, if this person had what they got or manifested what they wanted, then that means I can too. Like I've seen it with my own two eyes type of thing. So let's continue. What makes, what is the, 
What else? Why is group number one not stupid? What is the emperor card? Why is group number one not stupid? What is the emperor card? Maybe you even heard people say, you're not stupid. You're not stupid. How can you think you're stupid? This is just confirmation in this reading. Also, with the high priestess right here, this is talking about being intuitive, trusting, like I said, and that clarified the emperor. So you can trust your intuition. You allow your intuition to guide you, even 33 is on the timer. So without you knowing, you work with a divine force. Even if you do know, take what resonates. This is a general reading, but you, you work with a higher power. You move intuitively throughout life because you know what ste steps to take next. The Queen of Wands, very creative, alchemizing, taking something out of nothing, like I said before. I mean, this is manifestation energy right here. And mm -hmm. I almost want to say, I don't know if you did in the past. No, you're just very magnetic and you know how to utilize that. You know how to maybe charm, if anything, charm to get what you desire. Not in a bad way, because that could always be perceived in a weird way. But I meant like, you're genuine. You're genuine in what you, in how you perceive people, how you give to them. You only give back to the people who are, who are, who's worthy of giving back to. And I think people know that. There's something that you don't know. And I'm going to tell you right now. The people that you interact with, they feel like you can see right through them. They feel like you know what's going on, like the deepest, darkest parts of themselves. The energy that I'm feeling with this High Priestess plus the Emperor card, but more so this High Priestess right now, I, I don't know why, but I'm seeing like a gaze brought to me, like seeing past me and I'm just like, I feel intimidated. People, and you probably could say like, yeah, yeah, I do sense people. I am intuitive and sensing energies, but People could sense that you are this too. You may think that you come off as someone who... I don't know who you think you come off as. Maybe someone who's flaky or someone who's in their shadow or... Uh, I don't know what that street sign says, but it's reading to me as clingy. So maybe your insecurities come out in different aspects, in different forms that blur your vision for you not to see who you truly are. And it's kind of like you're learning to wipe that slate clean. If anything, you have learned to wipe that slate clean. It's, it's kind of like an iffy for you guys. It could be either you learned it or you, um, you are in the process of learning it. And it's slowly stripping it away, stripping those perce perceptions of yourself, those past mistakes you have made, especially with the earth sign energy I'm getting, like perfectionism, maybe Virgo. I wish I get because I'm a Virgo too, but why are you not stupid? Can we elaborate further? The two, of, the two of cups in reverse. I mean, come on now. You see something for what it is. Like, if it's not aligned with you, if these people, like a friendship or a relationship, it's, it's giving the energy of, why should I waste my time? Or I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be truthful. I'm going to go about this in the way that I feel like I should go about this. You're really good at navigating things, I want to say. Hmm. Hmm. I want to say also for the people who have friends that are struggling to let stuff go in the past, you help release that for them. I think you do more than you think you do. What is this Ten of Wands upright? What is this, what is this Ten of Wands upright? What is this Ten of Wands upright? The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. the Eight of Cups right here. So with things moving, you know how to let go. You know how to help others let go to see to see how the freak to get out of this this stagnant mindset or this location that you're in you give resources you provide the truth answers that people need especially with yourself you know when to call it quits you have to trust that you know that you have to trust that you are capable of making decisions for yourself instead of feeling like oh i don't know what i'm doing i i feel like i'm stuck or i feel like other people are being pinned against me but you really know the truth you really know when to move forward you really know you have things being very magnetized towards you because people could feel that off of you people can feel the energy of oh she or he they know their worth they know their value 
and they will move forward if I do not treat them accordingly. So let's do closing cards for you. Why is group number one not stupid? The Knight of Wands in reverse with the Page of Swords. Yeah. You played this party before. You played this role before. You played many hats before with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords right here with the Knight of Wands. If something feels fishy to you, you know not to act hasty towards things. Like the Page of Swords, you like to learn, you like to analyze, especially before taking an opportunity. You're not going to go head first. You're not going to run straight into the door just because you're like, oh, this is the next big thing. No. What is this card picking out? The Tower card. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it from a mile away. Like, that's something I probably should be discerning with. And if you go towards it, then you learn. If you go towards it, then you're like, this is what I wanted to experience. What is this one? The Ace of Wands, yeah. You know when to act. If something feeds your soul, you're like, this is the time. This is the time to go. But with this, it's giving... Um, what is the Knight of Wands in reverse? What is the Knight of Wands in reverse? I also want to say you're very loyal. The Knight of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Swords, yeah. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is what I mean. You don't want to give back to things that feel like are fishy, especially with F-boy energies that come towards you. You know, you see that. You get clarity, clarity in your mind. And you're like, I know this game. I know who this is, whether it be business or people related, the cherry in reverse cancer energy. But seriously, you will not move towards something if you... It almost feels like, as well, people out themselves near you. People out themselves with you just being you. And you're like, yep, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This is why I should protect myself. And that travel plan wasn't worth it or that business deal wasn't worth it. I, I'm glad I didn't commit myself to those efforts because that wasn't worth it. The Queen of Wands still in the middle. I'm just going to say you're radiant. You're amazing. 717 appreciate give gratitude to the, to the blessings that are going to come into you in for you so if you see 717 that's your number but that can be your number up to you but yes this queen of wands right here i heard you're meant for greatness <laughs> that little crow right there yeah there's something about a throne about you it's just something right here that feels very smart you must have been someone who is very logical, rational, maybe doesn't show the feelings well as much or can't express themselves, but you express yourself well through the things that you manifest and create, the things that you are very passionate about and creatively want to pursue. That's your strong suit. And you're one of those people that are a genius when it comes to their talents and people can see that and you have to see that in yourself. And I think you just needed a reminder with that, so. Group number one, if that resonated, subscribe. Join the Moon family, New Moon. I'm still revamping this channel. I don't know what's happening, but if you enjoy just being here with me, then cool. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Keep spreading love because that will always be the answer. All right, bye. <laughs> Hi, group number twos. If you guys chose this two of wands, then this is your reading. Welcome. Why are you not stupid? I love to find out. And the first thing that I felt was this person moves around a lot. This person doesn't make up their mind. They don't know what they want. They don't know how to sell, settle their non-committal. Like, I feel like these are the words you're telling yourself or these are the words that you heard. And, but all honesty, what I'm feeling is there's something about you that feels so connected to the earth. Once again, when I felt this, when I saw this, I heard I got the whole world in my hands and it seems like you are so connected to how the world moves. You may be a traveler. You may be someone who is, uh, there's a word for it uh, that was used in a Oracle deck before, but yeah, it feels like whatever changes I heard astrological to, you're naturally intuitive when it comes to that because when you are in imbalanced, when you are not in balance, and you feel like you can't make decisions, you naturally go into har ha harbination. Why can't I speak? Why am I all of a sudden forgetting the English language? Maybe you also feel like you're not good with your words or you describe it best through emotion with this page of cups. You describe your words best with emotion and with passion and how you love. Hmm. 
maybe even you yearn for family, but it's almost like this feeling of, what is that feeling? What is it? How can I do that? How am I capable of something like that? Maybe you weren't, you weren't brought up in an environment that showed you that for some of you. This is general reading. So let's see, why is group number two not stupid? Yeah, with the temperance card in reverse, it feels like, you know what? I feel out of balance. I feel like there's something going on. Let me just, Jesus. Okay, I feel like there's something going on with myself, Mercury, Mercury retrograde or some shit. But uh, you say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill out right now. I'm gonna chill out on anything, on either drinking or just being around people, socializing you listen to yourself you listen to the outside of yourself and you're honest with how much you can handle two 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 with when it comes to partnerships or anything you're very emotionally intelligent i could tell you that the nine of wands in reverse why is group number two not stupid tap into the energy of why group number two is not stupid so what is the temperance card in reverse yeah okay when you have a lack of something the nine of pentacles clarify the temperance card in reverse you're like time to reel things in time to check myself before i wreck myself and come back into what i have now with the ten of cups in reverse what is this ten of cups in reverse the magician wow I don't think you realize that you are manifesting. You are getting what you desire. The things that you don't have, you're like, okay, I don't have that. I can have it. I don't have um, my abundance right now. I can have it. You make money moves and you also make happy moves. Yeah. You go towards where your heart takes you. Whoa, the six of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you go towards where your heart takes you. You're like... I see the way clear. That area looks less foggy. I'm going to go towards that area, camp out, no, just plan my next move, go towards the next place. You are very good at planning your moves when it comes to how to get around certain things. And it, I don't even have to mean literally when it comes to traveling, but I could just mean dealing with certain situations, certain people, certain environments. It's kind of like a strategy tactic, like let's say video games. You may be good at video games. But just for an example, in video games, sometimes you can use a, a strategic way of going about it and snipe people off quietly, like move in the shadows type of thing. You're very good at moving in the shadows, I want to say. Yeah. And it's almost giving the energy of you know how to survive. You know how to take care of yourself. You may be a lone ranger, a lone wolf, someone who depends on, relies on themselves. You may work best independently. Hmm. But you know what you want and you're going towards it. The feeling of I'm declaring this because I want this. I may not have it right now. I may not see me having it. But God fucking bless it. I'm going to have it. So the nine of wands in reverse. What is that? The Wow. The nine of cups. Upright. So nine nine by the way. With the queen of pentacles. Hmm. yeah resilience fighting for what you want what is this what is the nine of cups and the nine of wands in reverse everything that you see is a challenge you turn it into something optimistic and this may this may feel like you're delusional or you don't know what you're thinking can i trust in this thought process can i trust that i'm just not seeing anything but I'm seeing you, I don't know why, you don't have to actually be doing this stuff, but I see you frolicking or I see you being happy with what you have now. It's like, you know what, I can make do of this. I don't know I'm getting the, the vision of Belle or the vision of, let's say, a Disney princess or a character in general. Like, I don't know why I'm getting Luke Skywalker. Like, someone who's content with the life that they had. Yeah. <laughs> Who's content with the life that, left that life that they had before something big happened to them because it's almost the feeling of you being the main character of your world of you being the person 
that is content with what they have but something big happens to you and it's almost giving the feeling of you cannot handle this you're thinking you cannot handle this you're not smart enough you're not brave enough but then you're like f, f it i'm gonna be moving towards this because i have a feeling of something you're hooked on a feeling i don't know why i feel like cussing a lot in this reading i did a pretty good last reading but for some reason it's it's wanting to express that emotion through emotion through stronger words my tongue is mm. what is the eight of cups Ooh, the lovers wow the lovers with the six of cups mm. what is the lovers clarified by the eight of cups the knight of swords mm. With the Knight of Swords right here, with the Sun card in reverse, you do everything that you can in a situation. With the Knight of Swords, you move fast towards things that are aligned with you. So with this clarifying the Eight of Cups and the Lovers, you walk away from stuff that isn't for you, 44 right there, and you are going towards something that is divine, like a counterpart, for instance, a soul's calling. You choose yourself. Or you choose things like immediately when you hang up the phone, done with that, you go towards the person that is meant for you. Or um, you get closer to union with your person. If you are single or in a relationship, every action that you, that you make is bringing you closer to that said person for your own happiness. What is the Knight of Swords upright? For some reason, I'm getting, yeah, the terror, the terror. With the Queen of Cups, the Tower card. You may... Okay, I'm going to say something. You may feel like you're an idiot. And this is a great video to click on to. But what I'm really feeling is... Everything happens in divine purpose for you to wake up. For you to realize and go closer to who you really are. And it's this Queen of Cups... You intuitively make decisions without even realizing it. It's it's kind of like your book is being written, but you're perfectly following your divine pl plan to get to where you want to be. It's so interesting to me because with you, like I said in the very beginning, you have the whole world in your hands and you don't realize that you are living the life that you want to live and working towards the life that you want to have, whether you have it or not now, but I'm really seeing that. Everything that you went through with relationships, it was for you to learn a lesson on your worth or for you to learn a lesson of what you wanted. And like I said, as you as you make these decisions, you are getting closer to said desire, to said goal. The Queen of Cups is very, very intuitive. As she doesn't just give her emotions to anybody. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. These things happened for you to realize that you're smarter than that <laughs> it's kind of like 55 it's kind of and 555 on the clock it's kind of i don't know how many times i said kind of it's giving that feeling i keep saying that but it really is god bless it i forgot what i was gonna say give me a second <laughs> the queen of cups emotion God, fuck. Okay, well, you know what? If it's meant to come back to me, it will find me. And that may be a lesson that you learn too with yourself is if it's meant to come back to you, you'll find you. There's plenty of tarot readers that said that. Anyways, wise group. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is that you feel like the, <laughs> the universe is waking you up to, for you to realize that you are not dumb, that you're not an idiot. You are... You are smarter than this relationship. You're smarter than this friendship, than this area environment that you live in. It's like you're you're worthy of more. You're worthy of better. 55, 555 is about changes in energy, changes in shifts in your energy to, to make change for you in your life. So things happen really to give you the life that you desire. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? The star in reverse. 
the sun still. Aquarius, Leo. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really getting captured in this image of the woman and the child with the man moving on, moving towards something that fits them correctly. So it seems like where you feel like there is no healing or no expansion or no future, you are moving away from it intuitively. It's very peaceful. It's very quiet, like in the, like in the calmest hours of the morning, like in a movie. You see this person with the, their family leave. Like it's time to go. The wind is picking up right now. It's very beautiful. But yeah, let's see. Closing cards for group number two. Why is group number two not stupid? Just trust in yourself more. Trust that you are literally from the earth when it comes to your discernment, when it comes to who you are, when to move, when to feel, when to act, when to celebrate, when to love. Like your true self is literally no anxiety. Why you're not stupid? What is the death card in reverse with the seven of wands in reverse? Hmm. The knight of wands upright with the justice card in reverse. The six of swords keeps following you guys. Yeah. You may have felt like you were dealt with a bad hand, but this is just to be making yourself into who you want to be. The Knight of Wands with the Justice card in reverse. What is that? With the Death card in the... The Two of Cups, yeah. Okay, so with the Two of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. When something comes in and it's not aligned with you, it's shown to you, whether it be through action, through dating, through anything. It's like, oh, I see what's stopping me. I see what's limiting my expansion. You are all about growth, dude. You are all about seeing your life and how you can make it better. And if something doesn't make it better, you're like, I got to be honest with myself. This isn't for me. I cannot commit to this. I cannot pretend like I'm in alignment with this. This feels like karma with the justice card in reverse the moon it's revealed to you the moon in reverse literally revealed to you the illusion is taken off of your face and you're like oh i gotta step away i got to realize the truth in this situation and you see that you know that and you take that on with uh with hum with humble with humbleness yeah but humility i want to say you practice humility a lot, and that's a very strong tool for you to have. Yeah. And that's something to celebrate, you know? So, yeah, group number two, this is your reading. Thank you for coming. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to the channel. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed talking with me. Ever since I got my wisdom teeth removed, my tongue has been, like, really weird. Like, the, the tip right here. So, it just feels like I can't talk with this tongue and something else. It's really, um, it feels uh, limiting. Anyways, so <laughs> 55 on the timer. So I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. Hi, group number threes. If you guys chose the Empress and I have a sneak attack for you, but another card came out, which was the Devil. So Capricorn energy straight away. So what I feel with this is that you know your worth, but there is still battling demons in your head. You know something's coming, but you almost feel like a sense of dread. Some of you might be poets. Some of you guys might just be good with words. It seems like you are really following your soul's calling, following your purpose. But there's a voice inside your head saying, no, you're not. You're not doing that correctly. You're not doing this right. Maybe you should stop this. Maybe you should go back. Go back where? I don't know. But 44 on the timer. Everything that you are doing is divinely guided for you. But this devil card, maybe it's almost, you you make stupid choices and you regret that later because you feel like it's not aligned with you. Wow, it feels, it feels good to not say the word like a lot, for fuck's sake. You may even get hard on your speech on how you talk, but I've been struggling throughout this whole thing, so. Why is group number three not, ooh, that one came out fast. The six of cups, yeah, the six of cups, going back. 
But there's no way you can go back because you already gained a different perspective. There's no way you can... Look at that. That's so pretty with the trees like that. Freaking healing. You bring a healing energy to you. You bring this child, this childlike wonder, this childlike face that people love to see. I'm getting the TV show Bridgerton, the main girl, the main character. She has a very soft, beautiful face. And I think that you have that, whether you be man or woman or whatever you are identifying with. I do really feel like you have a soft face that people love to see. And you should know that. Especially if you are smelling roses, people notice that about you. People see how real you are and how authentic you are. That doesn't seem stupid to me. That seems that seems refreshing. I was reading a book and there's a scene from where she tells the man that she she likes. She says, "You're like you're like sunshine. You know, you are literally my 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 light." And he said, "You're like you're like a lake. You know, the lake in where she's from, Michigan or something." And she's like, "Because I'm it's cold and wet, you know, uncomfortable." And he said, "No, because it's it's refreshing, you know, it's shocking and refreshing. So you give this refreshing energy to you that not a lot of people come across. Maybe even you do remember, you remind people of their past, maybe even a childhood friend that they once had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You make people feel safe in their environment. The Knight of Cups in Reverse, why is group number two, three not stupid? You may have been drawn to group number twos, but why is group number three not stupid? Let's figure it out, guys. Strength. I also heard strength not to go back for some reason. I don't know why I keep hearing that. We're going to ignore that, but the strength card with the Nine of Pentacles and then the Knight of Cups. So, hmm. well, obviously, right when I first see the Knight of Cups, you can tell when someone isn't going to give you the time of day or when you don't want to give someone the time of day. Because you know you have to take care of yourself. It's very much giving cancer energy when it comes to being selfish with your own family and with your time and your needs. What is the Six of Cups? I think a lot of people feel blessed to have you in their circle. With the Page of Wands. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Okay. You allow yourself to soak in the sun. You allow yourself to soak in past doings that you did or even um relationships wherever you felt stagnant in your life it was for a reason because with the hangman pisces energy by the way a lot of water starting out but leo is strength the king of cups right when i said that cancer scorpio pisces very emotionally balanced and you allow your past to give you new ideas as to what to head towards something or even how to deal with situations. You handle it with strength. You handle it with creativity. With this page of wands here and the six of cups, I'm really getting this strong energy of you bring your inner child back to life or you bring that some certain aspect of who you were in the past back to life and use it as something creative towards what you are having in front of you. Yeah, with the hanged man, you know that there's always something to learn in a situation and you like to observe it. Especially with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very still. Very much not emotionally moved in any way. You can't really trigger the King of Cups as well. I was about to say the Queen of Cups too. So, And then the Seven of Swords. In reverse. What is the Knight of Cups in reverse? The King... Oh, my bad. The Knight of Swords with the King of Cups right here. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, you know when to move towards something. If you feel like you, you aren't going to react in a proper way, you step back and then you go towards it with with a well-balanced approach. You don't you don't go towards things if you know that you aren't going to act right. You go towards... You naturally go towards things quickly with emotional balance and a lot of people crave that a lot of people crave people in their life that are like that and it, it's it's it feels like you're they're at home when they see this like a the lover's card yeah you are someone who is so lovable people want to know people want to get to understand you are so easy not to react in emotional emotionally manipulative way you are so easy to react wittily in um in an emotionally balanced way. 
Like you have words to say that would make people laugh out of love. Bring people together, tight knit. And it's very beautiful. Tight knit. Yeah, you may be impulsive. You may be looked at as someone who's very fast or um, go towards things really fast, but then they see that you handle it really well. They see, oh, well, they actually know what they're doing. I'm sorry that I even judged them in the first place. The Six of Wands, because there is victory. The Six of Wands is about victory and success because they know what they're doing. Why did I question them? They may have looked impulsive on the outside, but they actually knew, they actually saw, they actually planned. You are so good at planning, especially with moving with intuition. It feels like you are people's rock. What is the strength card? Like they can trust you, like a main character in a film. Kind of like what I got with group number two. A main character in a film, but instead giving Han Solo vibes. Or what's a female version of that? Like Princess Leia. I mean, both of them are freaking strong characters. No wonder why they ended up together for the most part. But yeah, strong dynamic like that. I don't know if you have someone in your life or you, but that's also, I could be looking into the future of a relationship that you will have, like a dynamic, a strong one of a Han Solo and a Princess Leia. People who know how to lead. Princess Leia led the, um, the rebellion. And then Han Solo was... Han Solo, <laughs> very independent lone wolf, but also was very smart in ships, in trading, in, in charming people, in getting to know them, making them feel safe, or just making them feel like they know him, you know, he knows everybody, probably not all for good reasons, you know, but he played a huge part in helping out, anyways, I don't know why I went on that tangent, but what is the strength card? Why is group number three is not stupid? What is this strength card? The two of cups. Wow, right when I was talking about love, but this could also mean friendship as well. The two of cups right here with the will of fortune card. Yeah. You are willing to fight for people that you care about dearly. A nurturer, a provider. I heard alpha, omega, beginning and end. Wow, with the three of swords in reverse. There is this healing energy that you give people. That girl has red hair and that makes me think of Ariel. Hmm. There's this energy that you give people that it feels so like they want to dedicate their life to you, if that makes sense. They want to be able to say, wow, I want to have cycles with you. I want to fight for this um, because you are just so freaking amazing. I am so lucky to have you. Even the will of fortune is about luck, is about fate. Every connection that you make somehow feels fated, especially to other people. I don't know what this has to do, why you're not dumb, but hopefully this is helping. I mean, clearly a person like this doesn't feel like an idiot to me. They feel like a divine soul that has had a lot of challenges in their lives, especially with fighting demons in the dark. You may have heard of shadow work. You may have been doing shadow work. And shadow work, if you don't know, is basically when you work on those toxic traits of yourself, you identify them, you face them in the, you look at them in the eyes and you say, I hear you. I know why you did this. You are seen, you are not bad. You just had a reason. You just had a reason. And these mistakes that I made in the past made me into a humble person that I am today. Someone who keeps learning, keeps growing from things, and isn't afraid to continue to learn. So, let's see. Why is group number three not stupid? The five of wands. Excuse me. With the king of swords. So, with this, because the five of wands have to, has to do with competitiveness. The king of swords in reverse is very mean. I would say this person is manipulative or just knows how to make someone feel like complete shit so this is different energy coming up with the manifestations why wow, you're not stupid what is the five of wands with the king of swords in reverse hmm the six of pentacles with the five of pentacles There's something about raging war, 
during conflict. Teaching people how to give back. I'm getting this image of a spiritual teacher when everybody's poor, kind of like when Robin Hood steals from the rich and gives to the poor. You have that about you. When everyone feels like they have to compete or be mean, you have been there, you know what that feels like, you know how to be that person. And instead you bring balance to where there wasn't. Hmm. Yeah. The death, yeah, death in reverse. What is the death card in reverse? Scorpio energy, what is the death card in reverse? The three of swords in reverse with the ma magician. What is this? What is this? Hmm. I was going to say you know how to move through things and alchemize and shift things in order to make them what you desire, what you want. The death card with the six of pentacles and the three of swords. Hmm. Yeah, you know how to take pain and heartbreak into giving people what they desire. You are people's manifestation. You are people's fated interaction. You are people's words of encouragement. That is, um, what are they called? My brain stopped working. Nirvana. Is that smells like, that smells like teen spirit, right? That may be a significant song because that just turned up really loud. I'm curious to know if any of the lyrics are resonating with you guys in that song. Dana? Yeah, I love that song. Okay. Uh, yeah, you bring this, this stability in people's lives to where they're like, yeah, I could rely on this person to help me out. God. Okay, so there's this one lyric in the song that says, I'm worse at what I do best and I and what I'm and my gift is what I feel blessed or something like that is where I feel blessed. I don't know. Either way, but it, it's almost like you have a gift to entertain. You have a gift to switch things around to make people feel something that they haven't felt in a long time. You bring down the guards of other people. You know how to naturally be you and that makes people feel alive. That makes people feel entertained. Just like I said in the beginning, you can manifest happiness for people. You can make them laugh out of little things and have their heart tug a little bit. Almost like a bittersweet thing, but almost like they feel safe, like comforted and loved. So I'm gonna leave it there. I think that was that called for the end but uh yeah group number three this was your reading if you guys enjoyed subscribe yeah but uh i'll leave you there keep spreading love because that will always be the answer and that's what you guys do best so keep doing it but yeah i'll see you in the next one bye